Hey, what's up, guys? My name is The Cherno, and welcome to episode 22 of Game Programming. So, yesterday, we took a look at the sprite class and actually managing that and making that and coding that, blah, 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 to make it um, load sprites, essentially, from our sprite sheet. And today, we're actually going to move on to displaying the sprite. So, if I actually launch the game right now, you'll see that we just have this grid of colors, which is fantastic, actually. It looks really cool, and it's what represents our our um our map every every color is a different tile basically and if we move around you'll see that well we can move around which is pretty damn awesome that's what we've got so far i'm running at two and a half thousand fps which is insane so that's great that's amazing now we need to actually display the sprite that we've loaded so yesterday we created this amazing grass texture which i'm probably just going to put up on the internet for sale because people are going to want to get their hands on this um we, we want to actually load that into into our game and, and display that instead of these sort of things here. So to do that, we just have to utilize what we've created. So first of all, we've created a way to create a sprite sheet. Great, now we actually know where the sprite sheet is right now, don't we? Because we created it and it's actually in, if we go to our, into, if we go into it, into the directory of our game, you'll see here, we created a folder called res, show for resources. And inside there, there's a folder called textures. So how do we actually access this physical sprite sheet file? Now, it's pretty simple because here we've actually specified a path which will in, ter which will in turn actually, you know, read, um, the, which in turn, you know, we, we've got our, our code here, buffered image, to actually read uh, the image from that path and load it into our memory. And then we've applied that image into our pixel array. So we need to actually run this somehow. We need to create a new sprite sheet. Now let's do it right over here. Let's create a, a, a public static sprite sheet. Again, static means there's only one instance of it, uh, and that is, uh, there's, you know, because of that is accessible throughout every class without actually instantiating this class. Public means that we can use it anywhere. You know the deal. We'll name it um, we'll name it we'll name it like tiles or something. Equals new sprite sheet, and now we've got to fill out all this stuff. So first of all, we actually have to get access to this resources folder. We don't have access to it right now. All right, it's not just in there, because remember, we've created it, so Java doesn't know, all right, this is a folder that needs to be done. So in order to do this, we actually need to right click on our project uh, thing in, the, in, in Eclipse, hit properties, then click on Java build path, all right? And then under libraries, make sure it's under libraries, we have to hit add class folder. Now you'll see that it's not here, and you might be like, what? What's up with that, bro? My folder's there, if I go into the directory here, there is a res folder. Why is it not appearing here? Now, it's very simple. You haven't actually refreshed this thing. So I've actually done this on purpose to demonstrate um, to you guys what, what, what actually happens if you don't refresh it and how to, how to fix this problem because a lot of you guys are probably gonna encounter this problem. So in order to do this, get out of all this, go back to your normal view, right click on your project and then select refresh. And now, if, you, if we go back into properties, back into build path, back into libraries and add class folder, you'll see that it, it's actually appeared here and so has our textures folder. So let's just check the box at the res folder and hit okay. Now you'll see, actually, if we go to package explorer, it's got like a little logo next to it, like, like the same one that these reference libraries sort of do. That means that now it's part of our build path and it will actually be included when Java compiles our program. Okay, so now that we've done that, because our res, res classes, uh, our res folder is, order, is already included, we don't really need to, um, we don't really need to actually access it. We just need to access the folders in it. So when you actually specify the path, don't start the path at the resources folder, start it at whatever's in the resources folder. So in our, so in our uh, case, it's textures. So it's a string, as you can see. So we do our little, um, quotation marks and now make sure you start off with a forward slash <clears throat> okay it will not work if you don't have a forward slash if you just type in textures like that and then forward slash uh what's that name? like sprite shade dot png it will not work you actually need to type forward slash textures forward slash sprite shade dot png huge 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 warning all right you need to do that and then we've got to specify our, specify our size, which in this case is 256, whoops, 256, because our, um, 
because that's the resolution of our thing. If we actually go here and you can see over here that our dimensions are 256 by 256. So our size is 256. Now that we've done that, our sprite sheet is kind of, it's loaded into our memory now, it's cached. It's ready to use throughout our project. Um, if we go back into sprite, um, first of all, um, we actually, um, we've got this grass thing, right? We've, this is what we did yesterday, but we've got null here, all right? Because we haven't, we didn't actually create this sprite sheet thing. Now it's here and now we need to change that, all right? Now we've created the tile sprite sheet. Now we need to actually insert that instead of this null thing. So type in sprite sheet dot tiles instead of null, all right? If you have null there, it will crash. One other thing is that this is in the top left corner, so it should be zero, zero. I was just demonstrating that yesterday. That's a huge error as well. That happens because you'll just get a, you'll just get this, this thing instead of the grass texture. So that's a, that's a tip. All right. So now we've constructed all these things. We're actually ready to actually draw our sprite. Now I'm just going to do it in the quick dirty way, just so you guys can, uh, can see what it looks like. But all of this code that we pretty much done here will be moved uh, eventually into its own like level class, which will actually draw the level. So um, it's just temporary. Again, this is, I'm just showcasing all the, all the individual techniques and then I'll put them into, into different classes just so you guys can actually get something on the screen as fast as possible and see how it sort of constructs. So instead of our pixels here, because remember what you see on the screen is comprised of pixels, right? So at the moment we've set our pixels right here equal to tiles, tile index, which in turn are basically just colors. Instead of this though, we can wipe that out. We actually need to set it equal to our sprite. So sprite.grass.pixels, so our sprites pixels, x, again using this x that's in the for loop, right over here, x and 15, right? Because if we go, obviously the x value over here actually goes to width, that's when it stops. And obviously our sprites are only 16 by 16. So in order to keep it contained and actually loop that sprite throughout every um, pixel on our screen, we actually need to type and 15, otherwise it'll crash with an array index out of bounds exception. Plus y and 15, and then times the size of our sprite. So it should be sprite.size. I don't think that field is public. So if we go into sprite, you'll see that we actually have private final length size. We'll change that to public final length size, and that should be fine. Oh, apparently it's not static. Should be static. All right. Oh, okay. If it, obviously, if it's static, no, we can't have a static because if it's static, then we obviously can't initialize it when this gets created. So we'll probably just type 16 here, honestly. There you go. Although technically, if you really want to do it correctly, we could just probably go sprite.grass.size and make this public and there you go so that's the technical correct correct way of doing it again it's just equal to 16. um so yeah if we hit our little button here you'll see that our world is now comprised of these amazing um little um grassy thingies basically this texture looped over and over again um so yeah, that's how we actually draw that texture onto the screen. You can see that we actually can't move around now. Again, we can, but it's just not, it's not working correctly because we're not dealing with, you know, we're not doing it correctly. But that's how you get our, that's basically the, te the technique that we'll be using to get our texture to the screen. We'll simply be setting pixels equal to this. So yeah, make sure you take all that code down. Remember that I did actually rename this public final int size to public. It was private before. Um, and what else? And yeah, in your actual sprite, make sure you add sprite.tiles into the parameters and you should be fine. All right, so uh, tomorrow we'll probably take a look at, um, I don't know, we'll just continue on with our game, I guess. I haven't actually thought of what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But yeah, so we can, we can delete tile index now. And that is how that works. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll see you guys, see you guys tomorrow. Later guys.